Hello, and welcome to this Connect Us sponsored unboxing video. In today's video, I will not be unboxing any new routers, but instead I will compare two routers that I have already unboxed and help you get a better understanding of which device would fit your organization's needs. The routers I'll be taking a deeper dive into are the Insego FX2000E and the Skyus 160. Throughout the video, I will go through 10 categories of features, data speeds, and specifications that are necessary in a router. And by the end of the video, I'll come to a conclusion on which router is best for certain businesses, and I'll tell you which one I would get personally. The things I'll be looking at are the Wi-Fi ability, network connectivity, antennas, download and upload speeds, security, the chipset, the price, and the features that are specific to the individual device. But before we jump into that, let's take a look to see which one would make the most sense for your business. The Skyus 160 has the ability to be more mobile than the FX2000, so if your business is a food truck, hot dog stand, medical clinic, blood drive, or anything that needs to be mobile, then this could be the router for you. If you need a router to connect more devices, have more reliability, security, and remain relatively stationary, then the FX2000 would be perfect. This would make the most sense for restaurants, retail stores, homes, apartments, small businesses, and offices. Let's jump into the Wi-Fi ability of each of these devices. The FX2000E is compatible with 802.11 A, B, G, N, AC, and AX. Or in other terms, this means it's compatible with Wi-Fi 1 through 6, with Wi-Fi 6 being AX. On the other hand, the Skyus 160 is compatible with 802.11 A, B, G, N, and AC which means it has Wi-Fi 5 capabilities since AC is Wi-Fi 5. While the FX has the Skyus beat with the type of Wi-Fi, both devices have dual band with 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands. 5 GHz is a stronger band for performance and speed because of its ability to slice through network interference, but the 2.4 band is much better for range and navigating structures like walls and household objects. Both devices have the option to choose and change bands, which gives an added amount of flexibility. The final aspect of Wi-Fi is the number of devices that can use the Wi-Fi connection at one time. The FX2000E has the ability to connect to 32 devices at one time, while the Skyus 160 can only connect to 18 devices at once. All in all, the FX2000 has the Skyus beat in the Wi-Fi category. Next, let's talk about the network connectivity of the devices and compare them in that sense. Network connectivity is where the FX has the most advantage over the Skyus, and that is because the FX has 5G sub 6 GHz, but the Skyus doesn't have any 5G capabilities. The government has put a lot of funding and infrastructure around developing 5G technology, and a 5G compatible router is an investment into the future of telecommunications. Since it doesn't have 5G capabilities, the Skyus 160 does have 4G LTE category 6, but the FX2000E still has superior 4G connectivity with category 22 speeds. The FX2000 has 5G and superior 4G LTE capabilities, which is why it crushes the Skyus in network connectivity. Now, let's talk about the antennas on and in the device. The Skyus 160 has three external antennas. One SMA for external GNSS antenna, and two SMAs for external cellular antennas that are required for the device to be used. However, the FX2000 does not require external antennas, but has four TS9 antenna ports. The user can only use frequencies B42, B48, 
and N78 when they have attached the external antennas. The FX also has 4x4 MIMO sub 6 GHz internally, which helps bring it closer to the Skyus. But the Skyus 160's antennas are also not as restrictive when it comes to usable frequencies. So overall, the Skyus wins this category just because of the antenna compatibility and how easy it is to set up the antennas. The next category that we should talk about is speed. The FX2000E is very efficient with two gigabit per second download and 316 megabit per second upload throughput. While the Skyus 160 has 300 megabit per second download and 50 megabit per second upload throughput. Not only is the FX substantially faster with cellular connection, but Wi-Fi 6 has the three times higher maximum throughput speed than the Skyus's 160 Wi-Fi 5 capabilities. Clearly, the FX2000E is the winner with speed, as its upload throughput is higher than the Skyus's download throughput, and it has better Wi-Fi speeds as well. The next topic is security. The Skyus 160 has WPA and WPA2 protection, while the FX2000 receives superior security with WPA3 and WPA2. The FX2000 clearly has better security as it has better WPA protection and a long list of security features such as AES-256 encryption, incorrect password lockout, port filtering, and advanced firewall protection along with many more security features. Now let's talk about the chipset that each device uses. The FX2000 uses the Qualcomm SDX55, which is a 5G modem chipset, while the Skyus uses a Qualcomm MDM9230, which is a 4G chipset. I think that the FX wins in this case because the 5G chipset is an investment into the future of telecommunications. As 5G continues to take over, 4G devices become more and more outdated. So as long as you don't break your router, 5G compatibility is a big factor for the future. The next topic we are going to discuss is the different device specific features that give the device an advantage over the competition. The FX has MUMIMO or multiple user, multiple input, multiple output, which allows more data to be transmitted by more users through multiple antennas in order to increase the network speeds and stop network congestion. The Skyus 160 has a 4400 mAh lithium ion rechargeable battery with 12 hours of battery power. This allows you to move the device, which makes it incredibly useful for pop-up restaurants, food trucks, or any type of mobile business or operation. The battery backup is also very useful in the event of a power outage because the device will just fail over to the battery pack, which it can use for up to 12 hours. I think the Skyus has the FX beat in this category because of the added mobility that you get from the battery pack. To end the video, let's talk about the last and most important factor, price. The Insego Skyus 160 retails for about $379 on most websites, while the FX2000E retails for around $400 more at a price point of $779. Clearly, the Skyus 160 wins in the price aspect, but when we looked back at the topics we discussed, the Skyus only won antennas and device-specific features. If I were looking to buy a router for a mobile business or operation like food trucks, hot dog stands, blood drives, or something that requires a mobile router and not a ton of devices, I would choose the Skyus because of the 12-hour battery backup. But if you were looking for a router to give you connectivity throughout a restaurant, store, home, apartment, or an office, I would pay the extra $400 to invest in the future of telecommunications through 5G technology. The FX would also be better because of its ability to connect more devices, 
secure your network, and provide fast and reliable speeds. In the end, you can't go wrong with either as long as you compare your needs to the device's abilities and both have a ton of great features and reliability for their price points. Thank you for watching this Connect Us sponsored unboxing video. And please feel free to visit us at our website, connectuscorp.com, so we can help you and your business do mobility better.